a funny thing happens after you spend two days farming for Dark Moon Blade. Suddenly you start to care about whether or not a character has decent stats or not. It's crazy, I know. Two days I spent on stream playing as a blue sentinel and a dark moon blade, trying to get summoned, trying to fight through the connection errors, trying to fight through the invader has been killed as soon as I show up, trying to fight through the host has been killed as soon as I show up, trying to fight through all of it, just so I could have another pretty purple spell. Another pretty purple spell tied to revenge for my paladin of revenge. So we got Vow of Silence, we've got Dark Moon Blade. I changed the stats quite a bit. Uh, he also has Medium Heal. All the uh, all these miracles are either tied to Revenge or Velka or or just the Sable Church in some way, shape, or form. Um, you can look at this. Oh, that's a really nice Crystal Soul Spear. Be a shame if somebody took a shit on your build. So the problem that you run into when you do this build at level 125 is you're depending on that weapon buff. I have always hated buff builds because as soon as the buff is gone, your damage is neutered. And in invasions, it's so hard to, to know when your moment is going to be. You have to recognize your moment and you have to take it. We have just absolutely shut shit down. This is our moment right here. Solo host, all of his phantoms are dead, all of his spellcasters, his miracle, cleric, his sorcerer, they're all dead. They're all dead. Now these guys right here, his name was Paladin of Londor. That's essentially what my character is. A Londor Paladin. His name is even Paladin. I'm using the Fallen Knight set because that is... Alright, we're going, we're going lore heavy boys. We're going lore heavy boys. Look how excited I was to see this other paladin of Londor. I was so hype. And he summoned up a shade. And the shade was also... And look, they give me the point down. They give me the point down, man. Using these big old poise weapons. That's, that's sad. Anyway, the Fallen Knight set is... We find it here in the uh, Crucifixion Woods. We find a Fallen Knight a little later on over the Paladin's Ashes. Um, near the Cathedral of the Deep. It's actually at the Cathedral of the Deep bonfire. Um, the Fallen Knight armor is essentially a rough and tattered, sewn together kind of uh, Londor Knight garb. Um, if you if you look at the uh, if you look at the Londor Knight garb that Wilhelm wears, and compare that to the Fallen Knight armor, you'll see they're they're essentially the same thing. Um, especially the helmets. A little different in the uh, chest piece, obviously, but similar under Wilhelm's... Um, I don't want to say it's a tunic. It's almost like a, uh, a poncho. <laughs> anyway, trying to go with it. Dark Moon Blade, Vow of Silence, Paladin of Revenge. Using uh, stuff that we know they use. Right now, we got to get rid of these fucking... Fucking posers, man. These aren't paladins of Londor. These are fucking strength builds. You don't fool me. I ain't seen a miracle come out yet. Get pointed down on. Ugly stuff. Sorry y'all had to witness this. Dark Moon Blade. Vow of Silence. Y'all know what medium hill looks like. Here's the stats. 60 dexterity. <laughs> 30 faith. We've got 35 vigor, 29 endurance, 15 vitality, 14 strength, which is base strength for a knight. We're using the long sword now instead of the Lothric Knight Sword, uh, because one, Lothric Knight Sword sort of implies Lothric, and the Paladin ashes are guarded by a fallen knight wielding a long sword, so we went with that. We've also got uh, Arster's Spear still. Uh, Sacred Chime of Filianor and the White Birch Bow. This is a 60 dex build. We're rocking 60 death dex uh, and, and 30 faith, which is just enough to cast both Valve, Silence, and Dark Moonblade. Um, 
<clears throat> honestly, man, I was like, I'm not super huge on efficiency with my with my characters, um, because I want them to, you know what I mean? Like, I'd like for them to have like cool backgrounds and cool stories and stuff like that, and I want them to like fit into the to the lore of 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 everything. Um, but man. Spend two days farming Dark Moonblade, and that will change your mind. So, the closest thing that I could find um, to reliable damage is 60 dex. You don't need um, the, the buff to do a lot of damage. And it's not going to do a lot of damage, because you've only got base faith. You've only got 40 faith. Um, so, 40 faith is just enough to, to cast it. Now, you can probably get better returns with a different catalyst. I'm using Filianor's Chime because I like the, uh, the region on it. Any other chime, if you use its region um, weapon art, you have to keep the chime on you. You can't put the chime away. But it's different with Filianor's. You can put Filianor's Chime up and still get the benefit of the region. So I like that better. Um, here we see this guy chucking pyromancies at me. And he gets caught, still trying to chuck him after Vow of Silence, which means I get to heal. R1 spam with Dark Moon Blade on a 60 dex build is ridiculous. If you wanted to do this with something other than Sword and Board, um, you absolutely could. You could do like 60 dex cell swords with Dark Moon Blade, and you would probably, you know, do pretty good damage as well. Uh, there's a Pyromancer hiding up top there. I just cast Valve Silence, so now she's useless. Look at that R1 spam. It's just disgusting. And you can just... I mean, the thing is, in duels, I don't like buff builds because you have to hope that the person doesn't have a dual charm. In invasions, I don't like buff builds because it's hard to know. Like, alright, is this going to be the big final battle? Is this is this it? If not, I'm just wasting this cast. But then you find yourself getting caught in situations where you didn't cast and you wish you had. Um, so having 60 decks and a longsword to fall back on, that's not bad. That's still a good build at level 125. So that works. The, the Dark Moon Blade is essentially just a purple shiny that goes on the sword and gives me a little bit of extra magic damage. Valve Silence we're still using um, to shut down casters as we've saw in the past two examples and we're using Arster's Spear as our chase down weapon. It's a dex spear um, and it has a poison uh, infusion to it which is very nice for this area here uh, that guy was fighting the poison mushrooms um, and it also works in fair and keep. I did that as well but yeah being able to, to have reliable damage with or without Dark Moon Blade is great. Now obviously your damage is better with um, especially on criticals, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, but you don't have to rely on it, which is fucking awesome. You can just have... Uh, yeah, these guys, you can see they're a poison. They were down in Fair and Keep um, when this fight started. Um, and you can use poison arrows and Arster Spear in Fair and Keep, and you can help the poison proc. You can help it along, which was nice. Now, this person's obviously a Pyromancer. Which means, now they can't do anything. You have a curved sword. Congratulations. I love it, man. I know it's not very good, but I still love it. It's so pretty. I wish it lasted longer. That's, that's still my main complaint. Just make it last longer. Either make it last longer... Or make it undo buffs. If you've got a buff and it goes off, make it undo the buff. It costs two attunement slots and 30 faith, which means you could undo Tears of Denial with it, and I realize what I'm saying, but how great would it be? You know what I mean? It costs two slots to cast. Tears of Denial costs two slots to cast. It seems like a, a decent counter for it. But no! Miracles can't have any good things. This is Dark Souls 3. We just have to make do with what we got. Um, a lot of you guys in the comments of the last video, um, and one of the reasons I made this video, is you guys were giving me examples of, like, real, you know, faith builds. Um, which is, that's fine. I'm, my, my video was, was essentially not to be taken seriously. Uh, thus why I put seriously in the title. Um, 
I know there's probably, you know, like the poise trade, the hyper casting, that kind of stuff. Um, but the way I play, nah. Give me a uh, Vow of Silence and Dark Moon Blade. Later, y'all.